what up, SDS. And we're in for another simple review in the Critter Collection. Still on for it. The first two Critter, critter movies are amazing. They're great and all. Now it was my time. It was, it was now time for the third Critters. Critters 3. I just, I was, I mean, configuring out like which movies I want to watch for like next. Cause I got The Evil Dead 2, I got I have this, I have uh, My Soul to Take. I still have so many horror movies left, plus I got three action films coming up soon in the future. And I said, you know what the hell, I picked Critters 2 cause Amanda, my wife watched it with but she'll be in the review for The Evil Dead. Well, should it, should, that should be for tomorrow. And then we're going to watch Evil Dead 2 tomorrow as well. But uh, so far, Critters 3, um, it's in the city. Um, it's still the main topic. It's from the very first city. I mean, um, Grover's Bend. But it's not in Grover's Bend. It's I think it's the next city on or whatnot. But when it first starts out, I mean, the, the, the back story of it is this guy. And he has his uh, daughter and kid. And... The, he's basically just a, uh, you find out when you hear his daughter, you know, oh, you know, or the place where your Mr. and Mrs. Midgets take care of you. Basically, he's off on the road working. You know, maybe a semi-driver or he just takes him a while to work or overseas or whatnot. So he has these older people to take care of him. But then they get, there's this point where they get a wreck and they, get, they have to stop this one place and wherever this is. You can watch it for yourself, but then they go to this like a park or whatever, and then you don't see the critters. Usually, we see the eggs first, but this time you see the point of view of the critter headed up, and then they go behind underneath the car of the uh, truck when they were fixing the flat tire. But um, the, the girl was okay, was acting. I didn't really care much because this film was about to get a huge rant. Is about to be a no, no. I don't want to watch this again. But the thing is, it's time goes on and on with the girl, with the daughter, and the little boy, which is the little boy, her little brother is actually one of the boys from uh, Kindergarten Cop, which I remember watching. Which that's a good film too. When I was watching there. But back to this, the movie though. This movie really kind of sucked with the acting and whatnot. I didn't really care for the. I, I didn't really care. Even Leonardo, it also, yeah, too. This is Leonardo DiCaprio, or whatever you say his name is. This is his first film. And he is met with the girl and whatnot, playing, uh, what she, he first gets in an altercation with her brother. And then they go in deep in the woods, and then they meet Charlie, which Charlie's been in the first, second one. Which he, well, basically, the first one, he was like a drunk or whatnot, and the type of uh, person to drink. Uh, and, People thought him a weirdo or whatnot, and he was he was friends with Charlie with uh, Bradley Brown, and this one he's always con his character is always connected to children. It's kind of creepy in a way, but they like him and it's chilling. But um, then uh, but the thing is not here. But the bounty hunters here. He's the only bounty hunter here, because he uh, in the the last one he saved the day. But this one's like the it's just him by himself. There's no UG or nothing. It's just him, and he's, he's, it's stupid. I don't know, it's just, he's not portrayed. You know? I don't really like him, he's just, but he did kick some ass in the film. But that's my views on that. I mean, just like, I mean, but then it was, it, was, it started to become boring, but when, when the critters came in, killed him, everybody, they killed uh, one of the owners, uh, Frank, and, uh, Italian landlord or whatever, and, uh, Oh yeah, Leonardo's stepfather is actually the main tenant of that place, and he comes down there to uh, rip it up a piece, or he wants everybody to be gone, so he ends up taking the whole power down, the whole generator down. But he dies from the critters, and everything that, I mean, this movie was sucking so bad, but when the, every time the critters came in, they they took the show on its own, and they're good. I mean, it's just, it's always a funny, it's always funny when they're on, it's funny and it's great to watch. And it's like, yes. When there's a point where I was going to fast forward. But then all of a sudden there's more critters. But, um, not much to say, but they end up getting, 
it was more, you see more humor. There was more like humor for these. These they were taking over the kitchen and whatnot. And everybody's up in the, the attic to try and get to the roof, so they can get the hell out of there. Because also the building, the, the and the first building and whatnot, it's on fire. So everything's on fire now. But at the very end of the day, they keep on. Oh, Char, yeah, I don't know where Charles comes out at the very end. At the first time, like, well, where's Charles? At? And then pff, there's Charles. So my mind got it right again. Uh, Charles gets up there and he shoots him, and then he's off. But then he helps at the bait that the little brother was dead, because he helped him. He was about to get hit, but he but martyred himself. But he survived. But they all had happy ever after. And then her dad, because they all said there's this manly woman, uh, Marsha, he's talking to, which she was kind of manly throughout the film, and the tough ass. It was very weird. But I think because her dad and her might have a little special fling, or. We were on DiCaprio's mother with him. I don't know, because his stepdad died. Because he deserved it, and he wished his, dad, his stepdad died. Which he did, he did anyway. But all of a sudden, it's, it's gone. But then at the very last credits, it just goes where... Like, they're trying to find Charles, because they want to meet him. His parents didn't meet him or whatnot. He's gone. But then it has the next shot. It's him at the... Uh, like, in the basement, showing his gun. And then it, it would always pause. Like for credits, a couple of credits, and then it would stop and go back. I mean, it would you know, continue on what happened. And then at the last point, you like, you looked at his face. I'm like, to be continued. I was like, oh wow, that was the ending. So, not much to say. I mean, this is Critters 3. The thing is, I'm glad that it's a 3, not like a 2. I'm glad it's not a 3. This right here is not Critters or not Critters 2. Those are, those are the big best films. I enjoyed those two films. I can probably watch them over again. This right here, it is watchable. But just beware, some of the acting on this is not that great. The people, even Leonardo DiCaprio, is, I mean, it's not really, I mean, the acting and the characters on there, I don't really care for. That's my opinion, though. You may like If you like it, that's fine. It's you. But this film didn't really get there. But the critters prevailed over well. But um, time for the recommending. Do I recommend it? If you want to watch the whole career collection for yourself, go ahead. But right here, just remember, I mean, the first and second ones are great. They're awesome. But this one doesn't really get there. But um, I'll give it a uh, C. C minus. Uh, just wasn't really much there. I mean, no B minus. Because it's there, whatnot. It's good. But... Yeah, I went the regular story, the regular people on there. They had more people. It's just Charles is there, but from the first one and the second one. But it was just, but it's same topic. And then the next one's going to go for, uh, yeah, because supposedly Charles, he, or he's in violation because he can't kill any an space. Because the, it's basically he can't kill anything. It's uh, intergalactic because that's up to them. But they do that, you're in charge in their court. It's like, what the hell? So it's but it's going to continue on for the last film. So which is, I don't know, I'm might going to watch another film right now, then do it, then watch Critters 4, because that's the very last one. But I do have a lot of more videos, much more movies to review on. So I think Critters 4 is going to be one of the last ones again, because that's how I want to do it, because... Critters, I, the whole collection has been amazing and entertaining. But this right here, it's the third film, the, I mean, the second sequel from it. I don't really care for it, but it still is watchable. And it almost became a rant, but I, I feel for it. It's a C and B or whatever. And yeah. So I'm going to get out of here and we'll see you. We'll check you out later soon. Peace.